hi welcome to my channel this is the fourth video of this series today we will see uh, the dashboard details how Vista CP uh, arranges uh, various options let's uh, log into the system default user is admin and the password we uh, mentioned during the installation so this is the simplistic view of Vista CP control panel we can see the admin user only here this is the default user and it says the system administrator we can see the usage the bandwidth usage the disk usage of this user we can see that web domain 1 by 100 that means this 100 is the limitation this um, domain and mail domains uh, limitations are mentioned on the package so by default if we create any user here uh, the user will get the default package details here at the first tab we will see the packages so we can see that we have four packages here we can see the default package the default package uh, limitation is up to web domain 100 web alias 100 any user uh, we create uh, with the default package he will uh, be able to create 100 web domain and 100 uh, web alias uh, dns domain 100 um, all are 100 here he is entitled with three backup and bandwidth is up to 97.66 GB disk is unlimited so we can uh, edit uh, the package we can see the package name the web template the proxy template DNS template in later video I will try to show you uh, how to create a custom uh, template and we can mention here uh, what template to choose and we can see that SS access by default is no login if we want to provide um, access uh, to the system uh, then we can select here bash or any other uh, shell uh, we can uh, select from here we can see the web domain the web areas all are mentioned here cron jobs backups uh, here is quota unlimited and bandwidth everything uh, we can change here whatever we uh, change here it will be applicable to the uh, user uh, using the package so this is the uh, default package so after the uh, packages we can see here the IP uh, we have uh, installed our system with a private IP that's why it uh, gets its public IP here it shows us the uh, private IP uh, with the public IP in our production environment uh, we normally uh, assign public IP to our uh, to our VPS and we install Vista CP there so uh, we will not use the uh, private to public mapping here uh, let's for say um, we are using our public IP so it will be like this so we will get only one IP here so this is our server IP On the next step we can see the graph here it shows the load average memory usage bandwidth uses apache uses nginx mysql ftp ssh uh, we will see the usage graph here used free swap it shows the all the trend here so this is the graph window we can see daily weekly monthly and yearly uh, graph from here on the statistics tab um, right now we do not have any uh, statistics here because uh, we are not uh, running this uh, control panel on production uh, so after using uh, the control panel for some time uh, the statistics will be um, visible here so on the next tab the log we will be uh, seeing here all the logs day by day uh, we will use uh, the control panel and several and various logs will be um, uh, pop up here to manage log uh, normally we do not uh, log into the system to see logs from here we uh, better log into the uh, system directly through shell or through SSH and then we can uh, manage the log from there uh, easily if you want to update any package then here is the core package the Vista PHP or Vista Nginx we can select and we can uh, update from here 
this is the firewall setting uh, normally we do not uh, maintain our firewall from the um, uh, GUI so we better uh, maintain the firewall from the inside of, uh, of the system that will be better for us so this is the server and these are the uh, server and services uh, we can manage services from here if we select a service then uh, we can configure we can restart stop the service from here so uh, these are the main tab here and below that uh, this is the user um, area here we can add uh, user from here this is the uh, web area we will create add web domain we will create domain uh, to host our websites and this is the DNS uh, if we add DNS domain we can add DNS domain from here mail this is the mail area we can add mail domain here and this is the database uh, we did not install the mail package and DNS package that's why it is not uh, showing anything here so this is the DB and we will uh, create a database from here cron jobs various cron jobs shows here uh, but we uh, better maintain the cron jobs from the inside of the system uh, that will be better and this is the uh, backup area we can create backup from here add it to the queue you will receive an email notification when your backup is ready to download so this is very uh, simplistic interface but on the inside we have uh, so many things to configure if we start using this uh, web panel for our web and mail hosting then we will see how potential it is uh, to manage uh, web hosting and mail hosting so uh, on the upcoming videos i will uh, try to show you uh, how to uh, host websites how to host uh, mail database and how to backup um, we will um, customize the whole um, Vista CP uh, to gain the full performance uh, from the system. So thank you. And if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and uh, share with your friends. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.